There's a very common mistake amongst new investors that seems to happen no matter what. It doesn't matter what your age is, it doesn't matter what your background is, or what country you're from. This is something that will most likely happen to you within the first couple of years of your investing journey. And hopefully, if you haven't made this mistake yet, after watching this video, you'll know exactly what to do to avoid it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Johan Lorenzo, and in this channel we talk about dividend growth investing and a few other ways on how to make money in the stock market. Learning how to make money in the stock market has given me a ton of opportunities and a ton of freedom. You'd be surprised at how much of a difference an extra stream of passive income can have on your life. And if I know anything about money, it is this. Most of us regular people like myself, we've gotta work hard for our money. It ain't easy to earn a fat paycheck at a job. But as hard as we work for our money, we've got to make our money work for us. And I'll give you a quick example before we get started. Someone who has a million dollar portfolio can make a 10% return on that money within a single year. That means that person just made $100,000 to do absolutely nothing. Zilch, zero, nada, nine. Well, actually, nine is no in German, but... You catch my drift. We're talking about roughly an extra $2,000 a week. I mean, I don't know about you, but an extra $2,000 a week for doing absolutely nothing seems like a really good deal to this guy. And the only thing holding you back from getting there is getting started, period. Just get started. And if you've already started, then keep going. Before we get started, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Your boy needs to get to 1,000 subscribers, so can we please make it happen? All right, so... Without further ado, let's get into the video. One of the main problems newer investors run into during the first couple of years of their investing journey is falling into a dividend trap. A dividend trap is simply investing into a company because they have this big juicy dividend yield. Usually this dividend yield will be above 10% and you being a newer investor, you start thinking to yourself, dude, I'm about to make some big old bucks investing in this one. Wrong. And man, oh man, can this be a headache to deal with? And quite frankly, most times you end up losing money. Not only does it suck to lose your hard-earned money, but it could have a real negative impact on you moving forward with the rest of your investing journey. So I wanna give you guys a few tips on how you can spot these red flags and hopefully avoid any future dividend traps. Red flag number one. Anything with a really high dividend yield that looks too good to be true is most likely a dividend trap not including REITs or MLPs, for the most part, a dividend yield above 6% is kinda, sorta, making its way towards a slippery slope. Slippery, he say. You think Charlie can anything about slippery? Only thing he knows is slip your throat. Red flag number two. Over the years, their stock performance has a terrible track record. If you're investing in a stock that pays a great dividend, but the stock does nothing but fall in share price year after year, it's a pointless investment and you're actually not making any money at all. The goal is to have your share price appreciate over the years on top of collecting a great dividend. That way, if you ever decide to sell your shares when you're old and wrinkled, you'll make 10 times the amount of what you paid for them decades ago. Red flag number three, the dividend growth of the company is pure garbage. As a dividend growth investor, our primary goal is to invest in companies which pay us a consistent dividend throughout the years. Not only do we want the consistency of a dividend, but we also want to see the dividend grow throughout the years as well. The same way you look forward to getting a pay raise at your job, you should look forward to having your dividends give you a raise every year too. So if you have 10 dividend stocks, you should look forward to having 10 different companies give you a pay raise every single year. Red flag number four, the company has cut their dividend several times within the last few years. Investing in a company that cuts their dividend sucks. That's just the basic way to put it. Our goal as dividend investors is to invest in companies which we can rely on for consistent income. This is why it is crucial to look at the dividend payment history and focus on companies that have maintained their dividend through the worst of market crashes. Companies that have stronger balance sheets are usually more financially stable and they're able to pay their investors a dividend regardless of the market conditions. And the more years a company has of consistently paying and raising a dividend, the better. All right, so now let's go over a few live examples of what a dividend trap looks like. We'll also compare these dividend traps to a few companies that I consider to be pretty good dividend investments. This one has dividend trap written all over it. This is Invesco Mortgage Capital Inc, ticker symbol IVR. 
Right now, they have an insane dividend yield of 18.46%. If you're a new investor and you don't know any better, this might seem like you found a pot of gold. But boy, oh boy, are you far from it. The stock price is currently down over 49% for the year. And in the last five years, they're down over 87%. Basically, that dividend you're collecting is absolutely useless. Looking at their dividend growth, they've basically slashed their dividend completely. Imagine working a job where every year your employer gave you a pay cut. You probably wouldn't be around for much longer, right? Why in the heck would you invest in a company that's going to do the same thing to you? This company has two zeros here for dividend growth streak and for the consistency of dividend payments. Stay away from these type of companies. Let's look at another garbage investment example that unfortunately attracts newer investors who don't know any better. Here is Orchid Island Capital Inc. Ticker symbol ORC. The name sounds pretty nice, right? Orchid Island. Sounds like some beautiful island full of flowers. Well, when you take a look at their numbers, their name pretty much changes to something like Termite Island, okay? Because this thing is a pure dump of a stock. Right now, they have a dividend yield of 17.59%. Their share price is down almost 43% within the last 12 months. And in the last five years, they're down over 71%. Imagine you invested $10,000 into this company and five years later, your $10,000 turned into $2,900. How pissed off and frustrated would you be to see your money go up in flames? And unfortunately, this happens to a lot of newer investors. For whatever reason, they just can't help but to fall into these dividend traps. Looking at the dividend growth for Orchid Island or Termite Island as we just changed their name to, they've basically done nothing but cut their dividend. If you bought shares of this company, you've been getting a pay cut every year. 14% a year throughout the last five years to be exact. Ouch. And once again, they're sporting the double zeros here for dividend growth and the consistency of dividend payments. Now on the bright side, let's take a quick look at a few dividend stocks which I think are great investments as they stand. Here you have Lowe's, ticker symbol LOW. They have what seems to be a very small dividend yield of 1.59%, but don't let that fool you. This is a beast of a dividend stock. Throughout the last 20 years, Lowe's has been giving their investors a dividend pay raise of 24% per year. Is that amazing or what? They've also been paying and growing their dividend for over 59 years, guys. That's older than some of your parents. That's a world of a difference compared to those double zeros from those dividend traps. Here is a great example. The shares you bought in 2019 were paying you 55 cents per share. Today, those same shares are paying you 80 cents per share. That's a 25 cent pay raise for doing absolutely nothing. If you owned 100 shares of this stock, that would mean you'd be getting an extra 25 bucks in your pocket every single time they paid you a dividend for doing absolutely nothing. Over the last five years, their share price is up over 145%. You basically more than doubled your money. And mind you, Lowe's is actually on a major sale right now and they're pretty discounted when you take a look at them, but they're still up over 145% throughout the last five years. That's amazing. Here's another good one. That little duck you see on the commercials on TV, Aflac. Aflac, ticker symbol AFL. They currently have a 2.45% yield and they've been consistently paying and growing their dividend for over 39 years. And at an average growth rate of 14% per year throughout the last 20 years. That's a pretty solid pay raise if you ask me. Their latest dividend raise was 21% in November of 2021. Over the last five years, their share price is up over 77%. Here's an even easier one for a beginner, an ETF. One of my favorite ETFs, ticker symbol SCHD. Right now they have a dividend yield of 2.88% and they just gave you an 11% pay raise within the last year. Over the last 10 years, they've grown their dividend at an average rate of 34% per year. That's insane. Over the last five years, their share price is up over 77% as well. If you're new to investing, this ETF is a way better route for you to take until you learn how to do your own research on picking individual dividend stocks. And remember, the things we covered here are just the basics to help you spot the red flags. Sometimes you have to dig a little deeper when picking individual stocks. But for starters, this is a pretty good foundation that will help you avoid a lot of these dividend traps. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If I get some solid questions, I'll put them up in my next video and we'll do a little bit of a Q&A here and I'll answer them live right here on the channel. And if you wanna see my most recent dividend portfolio update, click on this video right here. 
I want to thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.